Hello and welcome to another edition of Night Terrors Phantoms, brought to you by Commando Gaming and Battletech Battles. We're going to continue our series on the Heavy Metal DLC. And we're going to start out with a Flashpoint today. And see if we can get some other missions in, uh, time permitting. This is a pretty quick Flashpoint, actually, so we should have no problem getting in some extra uh, missions as well. Got a uh, flashpoint available here, so let's just jump right into it. This is uh, the flashpoint against Mason's Marauders for the Federated Sons. And we get some rare items out of it. Going to go ahead and begin. I'm just going to go ahead and slowly click through the commentary. You can always pause if you need more time to read it. All right, so basically this Davion Noble has uh, some people that are causing trouble with it for him. We're actually going to uh, just top into this flashpoint. We'll max salvage out. All right, we don't have a tonnage restriction, so I'm actually going to use, try something a little different here. I've, I've seen several posting that um, master technicians are greatly, have an increase, much higher increased chance of a Headshot. So I'm going to put a master technician in our marauder here. I think that is a good thing to try out. We're definitely going to uh, get our grasshopper into the mix because it continues to be one of my favorite mechs. Uh, the question is. A three skull mission. Yeah, we'll we'll leave a uh, twinkle in the grasshopper. And it's a desert environment, so we got to keep that in mind. Let's go with our Orion K here with our AC twenty. And for this mission, um, LRMs definitely come in handy. So let's uh, take our Archer with a focus on the LRMs. So I think that's a pretty good build. <clears throat> and let's go. All right, so again, this is a pretty quick uh, flashpoint two missions all together. Uh, technically, you could make it one mission if you want to uh, just push through it as quickly as possible. But we're going to play it the more traditional way, both missions. 
it's a pretty straightforward mission. Shouldn't be anything that we can't handle with our current lance. In fact, it's probably going to be a little light on the difficulty side, but that's okay. Oh, interesting. So in the past, um, when I played this DLC, we've had a much different map. So not a bad thing. Just uh, this will make this interesting because this is a very different map than the last time I played. This. And it, it just illustrates that the uh, designers are trying to make things a little different for us. Here. I like to try to move around the sides of this map. All right, so we should have a first group of defenders and then a follow-up group of defenders. And usually there are some turrets just to make this a little tricky. So let's move up here with our grasshopper. A Phoenix Hawk. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna tag him. We really need to get some more tags, that's for sure. Very useful. All right. Now what I want to do is, as I said, I've been told that the tactician has a much higher chance for a headshot success than anybody else. So let's give that a try. Well, we got a center torso shot there with the Gauss rifle. Okay, there are some dirt turrets here, so we're going to have to start working on those before too long. All right, that Goss rifle shot might not have been a headshot, but it certainly helped us there a good amount. We got a cicada. All right, those turrets are no joke. <clears throat> Those have to really become a priority here. So let's get vision. Oh, here comes reinforcements. That's fine. So I feel like they've redesigned this one to be a little harder than
than it used to be. Let's see if we can uh, get rid of that heavy sniper turret. Almost. It's fine. We can attack our grasshopper. That's okay. Here comes those reinforcements, probably. We need to prioritize getting rid of that sniper turret before it can fire again. So we'll do multi-target because we don't need too much on it. Oh, apparently we need more than that. I thought that would be overkill. Not the best hit percentages here, but we got a lot of things to throw at this Wolverine. Miss on that AC-20. Oof. Sniper chart's going to make us pay for not finishing it off. Just finish off that turret now, hopefully. Okay. Shadowhawk. That's fine. Nothing here we can't handle at this point. All right, let's take advantage of that Goss Rifle's range to keep our Marauder and, more importantly, the Goss Rifle safe. 95% hit chance there. Let's see if we can hit the head here. No. This Wolverine lost some of its evasion, so let's take advantage of that. This map is problematic due to the heat. Right, Wolverine's trying to get some stability back. Our grasshopper can really just take damage all day. All right, let's just see if we can push this Wolverine over the edge. Almost. All right, let's just finish off the cicada.
go for the head here. It's it's uh, more out of curiosity than anything else. I'm trying to see if the tactician all actually does increase your hit percentage <coughs> for a headshot. Good hit there. Reinforcements. Probably send the grass over, grasshopper to deal with that forty tonner. Just get that Wolverine while it's on the ground. All right, that's a turret. Let's see if we can use everything on this Shadowhawk. Start moving our grasshopper towards this other cicada. Should have no problem handling it by itself. Ooh, structure exposed on our Orion. Scratched off some of his paint. Be a nice little test for our Goss rifle. Sixty percent shot, so we'll go to center torso. Nice, nice hit there. I think the tactician does have more accuracy with these sniper weapons. That might have just been a coincidence, but I'm feeling like it's not. I'm feeling like the rumors that Tactician plus Goss rifle equals mucho headshots are are probably legit. Should get a killer knockdown here. All right. All right, so we got a 60 tonner, either a dragon or a rifleman. So we can head in that direction with our grasshopper. start working on these buildings since we're on the way over there. Don't worry, our grasshopper is going to have plenty of support here. All right, so we got a 50 tonner, a 60 tonner, and this cicada. Hit percentages are horrible here. So we're actually just going to do, we'll just do a sensor lock here. And we'll have Majestic take advantage of that sensor lock. See if we can't finish off the cicada. Even with that sensor lock, it's only 55%. 
But that was enough. All right, we also have another turret over there to deal with. Ooh, it's a quick draw, okay. That was my least concerning option. And we have a Centurion as well. So we need to uh, get everybody else over there as quickly as possible. Don't want Twinkle going alone for too long here. In fact, there's nothing that says we can't just take a round and let our buddies catch up with us. Probably the smart thing to do here. Ooh, structural damage on our grasshopper. Don't like that. We're going to have to be aggressive with our Marauder here. Yeah, we got a real nice hit percentage here on the quick draw. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. And took off an arm. A lot of structural damage. Nice. Quick draws taking a nice pounding and coming back for more. I got to give it credit. Sprint our Orion forward. Get him in this fight on the next turn. Mm. Get really nervous about that Goss rifle. Anytime that Marauder gets shot at, makes me so nervous. This should finish off the quick draw. Yep. He's down. Oof. See if we can make this Centurion pay for that. Go for a headshot again. Not quite. May as well use these called shots. And the fact that the uh, Orion has cooled down for two rounds. There we go. I'm not really sure why they switched the map on this or whether they set it up so it randomly will select a map. But the original map for this Flashpoint really did fit the story a little better. Like I, I don't really see this industrial plant as a bar, which is what we're supposed to be destroying, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. All right. We still have a turret to destroy, so let's have the Orion go after that. Or at least get vision, and maybe we can just let the Shredder turret finish it off. 
No, not quite. All right, one more structure and we're done. Well, that, and of course, finishing off that turret. So we can just get picked off, picked up. Nice. This should finish off this last building. All right. Now, is this going to be one of those where they, yeah. Sometimes they make you go to the landing zone for no real reason. For some of these missions where they assume that you're going to be trying to escape. They make you run to the evac zone. I mean, it's it's kind of, uh, you know, realistic, but it's at the same time, it can be a little annoying. Like, dude, there's no reason that I can't get there. There's no opponent left. It's fine. All right, there's the evac. Okay, so we took care of the base. And our assassination target was not where he was supposed to be. All right, no injuries, minor damage to the Orion, minor damage to the Grasshopper. Those, might, those in fact, uh, Wang might be able to patch those up. So we'll take the quick draw part to sell, the Shadowhawk part so we can sell. Uh, well, I guess we'll take this plus medium, plus plus medium laser. Ooh, plus 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 SRM6. Yes, for sure. And I guess we'll take the Wolverine part. All right, so that's about 600,000 in C bills in addition to our payday. Send Shadowhawk to storage. Send the quick draw to storage. All right, so this is just basically this uh, rebel this mercenary is saying that the uh, Davion Lord didn't pay me, didn't pay him. So that gives us the choice. We can either fight him 
or we can just give him a bribe to go away. So we're, we're going to fight him. Alright, so we'll go ahead and fight on his terms. Alright, so our maximum is 230 tons. Luckily I've got our flea still. So we can actually get down to that total pretty easily. So we need to drop 10 tons. Okay. I definitely want to try to keep take the Marauder. Alright. So I can take my Catapult instead of it. Archer. All right, need five, lose five more tons. It's a desert environment, so I can't take the uh, All right, so we'll take the uh, Archer 7S. Okay, that gets me down. So we're going to have a you know what, let's do this. We're going to take the Marauder. We'll take the Rifleman just to make it a little more interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty comfortable with that loadout. Plus, except for the Marauder, um, none of these mechs are mechs that I can't live without. They're kind of my second tier mechs. So if we get some damage, no big deal. We have some repairs to do that. We'll do that at the end. Alright, so the second part is just a pretty much a straight up fight. Shouldn't have too much trouble here. So they got a catapult, a dragon, a griffin, and a centurion, it looks like. Alright, that's fine. So we definitely have a long range advantage here. So 
So what I want to do is get vision. All right. Close to getting vision there. So if we can get everybody else set up here on this ridge, especially the rifleman and the marauder, this should be easy peasy. So all I really want to do is have really by really high evasion, a little bit of cover, and we've got two targets. The flea will be fine, unless they get a really, really lucky hit. All right. Now the fun begins. Let's showcase some of our long range firepower here. Start out with the uh, Griffin. Yeah, as long as they keep shooting at that flea, definitely works to my advantage. All right, let's get the Marauder in a position where we can maximize that Gauss rifle. Really high percentage here. Let's go for the head. Yeah, did some good damage. Dragon. Ooh, hit the flea. That's problematic. Can't have that happen too much more. All right, we're going to take advantage of this hit or the loss of evasion on this griffin. Nice. All right, is the catapult, hopefully will not go after. All right, I was worried the catapult would go after our uh, flea. So our flea. Kind of just needs to stay out of the way. High evasion plus some cover. Getting some hard hits here. Let's see if we can do a precision strike on that center torso of that griffin. Nice. Dragon. Oh, knockdown on my catapult. Not what I was hoping for there. All right, I was a little too aggressive with my catapult there. Let's see if we can finish off this griffin. Nope. Ooh. All right. All right, so the beauty of the catapult is we'll just move her move him back. He's still got all of his weapons. Let's see if we can finish off this griffin. All right, we at least got knocked down. Of course, he gets right back up because it's his turn.
Okay. Again, we're really just trying to keep the flea out of the way here. See if we can't finish off this griffin. There we go. That's good. All right, let's pull back our Marauder a little bit. Get this Dragon. Good hits there. He's gonna return the favor. Give ourselves some room with this catapult. And speed up that dragon a little bit. All right, rifleman's getting hit pretty hard, but I think we'll be all right. Let's see if we can uh, cause a distraction with our flea a little bit here. All right, a little structural damage to our riflemen. That's fine. Let's try to take him. Out of the line of fire. Go for the center torso here. Good hits. Ooh, ooh. No knockdown, please. All right. Guys are no joke. Try to get knocked down on this dragon. Almost. Oh, yep, knocked down. Which is great for us. We can do. Let's just finish off this awesome, this dragon, I should say. All right. Taking a risk here, but I really don't think anybody's going to turn around and shoot at our flea. All right. My rifleman needs to take a round off and we'll use some vigilance here to brace Oof. 
Luckily that Marauder has really good stability. Right, let's use the catapult. Problem is this map is getting really hot. And that catapult should be getting hot too. Really being very aggressive with my flea here. Ooh, all right, we can get cover here for the rifleman. Very good. And let's see if we can hit the leg on this catapult. Good hits there. Maybe we can get knocked down on this catapult. I don't think so. Nope. Well, we might here. Should get knocked down here. Ooh, and a head hit. Knocked down. I can live with that. All right. Let's see if our flea can. Uh, not what I was hoping for there. Not that the flea could take out the catapult, but I just want to keep try to keep them distracted a little bit. Uh, pilot injury, not what I was hoping for, but he overheated. So we can take advantage of that. Hopefully. It's kind of ex overextended too. Want to keep hitting that catapult? Can't blame them. Oh, and the flea. No, that was actually a pretty clever thing for them to do. Let's see if we can finish off this catapult. All right, nice. Keep moving our catapult back here. Fortunately, we didn't lose any plus weapons. And you can't fire everything this in this uh, map anyways. All right, we can... Uh, All right, don't try this at home. 
but I think we can get away with this. This is definitely a much harder battle than last time I did this flashpoint. This guy's in bad shape, though. He's overheating. We're about to get knocked down, hopefully. There we go. And we're just going to... Finish this off. All right, successful mission and a successful flashpoint. We'll also get some uh, positive reputation with Davion, which is definitely nice. Uh, got some fair, a fair amount of damage to repair here. <clears throat> Okay, so he took his lance, but we do get some nice weapons. I think that's the best of what we have here. Yeah, we got some of the stuff that we didn't even prioritize. So, all right, let's do the end of the flashpoint. Bourbon Battle Max 3. All right, so basically just saying, hey, we succeeded in our mission. Rare items, let's see what we got. Ooh, an exchanger plus plus. That is worth a lot, actually. That is a nice payout in and of itself. We got a Zeus part, so now we're going to have a Zeus, because we already had two parts of a Zeus. Large laser plus plus plus. PPC plus plus with plus 30 stability damage. That makes a PPC worth fielding. Another cockpit mod and some other plus weapons. Very nice. So what do we want? So I'd rather have the Zeus than this Orion V, I think. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, so we'll send that Orion V to storage. We can actually sell it. All right, let's get the repairs going. Nothing too serious here. Lots of one day repairs. 
our poor flea. The only reason we keep the flea around is for exactly those tonnage restriction missions. Not really worth giving a flea good weapons, because I hardly ever use it. Um, I think we have weapons we can re upgrade this catapult with anyways. So no big deal there, other than the cost of the damage, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so we can put on LRM 20 plus. What if we even do... that? No, I can't do that now, so we're going to have to do a uh, LRM-15. And a LRM-5+. Plus. Nice, nice upgrade in firepower on this catapult. I think we have some upgrades for the Rifleman, too. Slight upgrade. Zeus, stock Zeus is not the most impressive. We'll probably play around with some builds for that. Um, so we have a little more time. We're not going to do another Flashpoint on this video, but we do have some other... We could do a hot landing mission. Just for salvage. And you know what? We'll take our uh, Banshee... We got to use the Banshee occasionally. Um, let's have some fun with our Zeus. This is the desert, so. We'll take our backup Marauder. Let's see. Eh, we'll just take a quick draw. Why not? Get some XP for Jekyll. We'll just clear up the last two missions on this planet, and then we're going to head to our next flashpoint. Might take a couple, uh, make a quick side trip off camera to see if we can get some uh, unique weapons that are close by, but I won't put that on the video unless there's some good missions on the planet. Uh, 
All right. Ugh, we got just vehicles? Oh man. Nothing worse than when you maximize salvage and it's a bunch of vehicles. That kind of sucks. Maybe we'll get some uh, reinforcements. Okay, good. We got a stalker. We got a 65 tonner, an 80, and a, a locust or a flea up there. All right, one problem at a time. There goes the striker. Serve you, hothead. <laughs> Gotta reserve you again. All right, let's get. Uh, Banshee moving over to the, where those heavier mechs are. See if uh, Jackal can't do some flanking here with the Zeus. And let's see. We'll sprint up our Marauder in support on the right side. All right, let's use Twinkle to get vision. Right, we got a catapult, Shrek PPC carrier. Ooh, we've got some sizable reinforcements, including a 90 tonner. Nice. All right. Well, there are more reason to finish these guys off quickly. You're fine. You're really fine. Ooh, PPC carrier. Mm, quick draw is getting hammered here. All right. Let's go ahead and sprint the Banshee up. So it can be a, uh, ooh, Highlander. So the Banshee is a damage dealer, but more than anything else, it's a
damage dealer. So let's get our Zeus around this corner. Start working on this catapult. Got a fight on our hands here. We really got to move that quick draw out of there. Locust. That's all right. That's what the Banshee's there for. First and foremost, all right, we're going to do vigilance and a brace here with the quick draw. Got a Highlander. I'd like a piece of that for sure. Catapult. Locust. Alright, we already had some good success on this Centurion. Let's see if we can get knocked down. Alright, good. Pilot injury. Oof. Took a shot to the head. Not good. Need to get the Zeus in a position where it can really start helping out here. Oof. Almost got knocked down on that Banshee. Put the Banshee in a better spot. Bad hit percentage is here, but I'm going to take the shots. Uh, that was a waste of AC-20 ammo. See if we can help on this catapult. Need to get that thing off the field. All right, we need to uh, be a little aggressive here with our Marauder. All right, had to get that, get something off the field that turn. Marauder's going to take some hits, but that's okay. Alright, we 
how to get this Zeus in here to really start doing some damage. That's a good start. Let's see what this Highlander goes after. It's going to go after the Marauder. That's okay. Let's get our Banshee into this fight. Nice th hit there on the Highlander. Mm. This is much more of a battle than I originally thought. Alright, this is legit. So, what I need to do is jump Twinkle down here. And she's going to be sensor locking. We're going to be a little aggressive with Marauder here. want to take advantage of that sensor lock. Ooh. There goes our AC-20 on our Banshee. Not good. Oh no, we still have our AC-20. Kind of a wasted shot by the Highlander there. The Highlander now. There's another heavy on the field.
that catapult's really overheating, which is good. Shield. Let's see. Yes. No. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Highlander switch targets. That's good. That's what I wanted. How that didn't finish off the catapult, I do not know. All right, we're going to take a little risk here with the quick draw. Because this catapult can't have very much left here. There we go. Rotter was getting a little too close to that Highlander. Oof. Not what I was hoping for there. goes that striker. Mm. Ooh, that Highlander gave itself some nice structural damage and it's overheating. Get into that debris field. Go after. No, it's going to go after the Banshee. I knew it would. Ooh, nice hits on the center torso there on the Highlander. We'll do a sensor lock with the quick draw. It's about all we can do here. All 
All right, good. Nice, all things together. That's probably the best we could have hoped for there. All right. Let's take advantage of the melee's Banshee's melee ability here. Had to do that. some we need some luck here oh not quite enough Oof. Oh, we lost our AC-20 on that. That's okay. Good hits there on that catapult. Hmm. All right, we need a good hit on this leg. Nice. Need to hit that catapult pushback. One round. All right. Marauder really needs to hit this Highlander in the center torso with everything. Not what I was hoping for there. Catapults up. Hopefully we'll just do melee. Actually, that was better.
Alright, come on, Banshee. Finish off this catapult. No. I thought that would finish them off. Ooh, catap that Banshee. Say what you want about a Banshee. It definitely can take a lot of damage. All right, we got to do multi-target here, and we got to make it count. Ooh, not what I meant to do there. Not what I meant to do there at all. All right, we got to finish off this catapult. All right. You know what? I might regret this, but it doesn't matter. All right, that was some battle. Much more than I expected, <laughs> to say the least. Oof, 27 days of injuries, 11 days of injuries. We did get a Highlander part. Two would have been better. We got a Centurion we can sell, a Locust we can sell. Actually. Take this plus laser and this LRM 10 and hope we get the other parts anyways. No, we didn't. That's fine. That was a tough battle. All right, send the Centurion to storage. Probably not going to do any more videos here on this video, on this, uh, any more battles on this video, I should say. So if you want to uh, tune out here, please feel free to do so. Majestic, it's out 46 days. That hurts. One of my better pilots. Night Terror for it. See, it just said he was out for 27 days. How does it become 46? I don't understand. That was a rough battle. 23 days. See, it like doubles for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, that's okay. We're going to do a little traveling. 
anyway, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Our Banshee definitely took a pounding. Got to give it credit. Should probably put a hit defense gyro in here. I don't know if I want to use a injury resistance three on my backup mech here though. Let's see. We have an AC20 plus, so we can actually upgrade his firepower a little bit. Be out for 10 days. He'll go to the bottom of the list. All right, we're going to refit the Zeus anyways. A couple things I want to do here. First of all, with its tonnage, let's change the AC 10 to a 10 plus plus plus. Why not? Alright, and then we can actually take this LRM 15, drop the LRM ammo to the rear. We'll take that LRM 10 plus plus plus. We're still three tons overweight, that's alright. Gonna drop this large laser. actually take off two heat sinks. see heat sink there put on a gyro Put on another medium laser. Max out the durability. And that looks pretty solid. Our backup marauder will just repair. We need to completely you know what that's a lot of money to spend on a quick draw. We'll probably pick up a quick draw later so we can just go ahead and uh, Scrap that. 
It's a nice payout for scrap. All right, let's stop at the store. All right. All right. So we're going to sell a blackjack. Sell a centurion. Do I want to sell this Orion? Mm, we'll keep it in salvage. Oh, I have a quick draw in storage. Good. Sell that Shadowhawk. Right. And there's some plus weapons here. Probably just buy those. All right, let's go to navigation. So I wanted to see if we could find some uh, more powerful uh, weapons. Anyways. We have this flashpoint I want to do, but we got time for that. So we're going to end this video and then off camera, I'm going to do a quick side travel, see if I can get some better weapons. And uh, if there's some good missions, we'll just do a quick video. Talk to you then.